In Applied Communications, we practice how to construct proper resumes as well as practice interview questions so it makes it easier for myself as well as 33 other students to get part-time jobs. In Applied Communications, we get to research about jobs, do job career surveys, and we get to give presentations about our dream job and like a dream university we get to go to. It's really helpful and plus you get to use these cool Google Chromebook laptops when you do research. In Applied Communications, you read a book called Brain Rules and it talks about the brain and you'll learn about many things such as sleeping habits and how it affects your learning and you'll also go over the influences and the six weapons of influence and how ads use the six weapons to persuade people. In Applied Communications our assignments include a lot of speeches and presentations preparing us for public speaking in the future. Applied Communications prepared me for my career. Applied Communications prepared me for the real world. Applied Communications prepared me for life. Applied Communications has prepared me for tomorrow. See you counselor today! To sign up for Applied Communications. World Language Department is organizing its annual movie festival, May 4th for French, May 5th for Spanish, and May 6th for German, uh, from 5 to 7 p.m. in the PAC. Hi guys, I'm Miss Yun. I teach choir, guitar, and orchestra here at Amphi, and it's my pleasure to be interviewed by you guys about our wonderful fine arts evening that we had. Um, we had several groups perform tonight, my groups, which performed in the library, and Mr. G had the band, the mariachi group, um, a drum line, and jazz band, and they all performed in Panther Hall this evening, and everyone did fantastic. Hi, my name is Mr. G, Russ Grineo, and I'm the music teacher, along with uh, Sonia Yunt here at Amphi. The show comes together with a lot of teamwork. All the people, uh, all the kids do a lot of hard work to prepare. The teachers, the art teachers set everything up. The music teachers set up the, the uh, performance areas, and that's pretty much it. It's all teamwork. <laughs> Everybody gets to go to one place and see a little bit of this, and then they go to the next place and see a little bit of that, and then... That way all the kids get to be featured, too. You wanna see? Oh, go ahead, fire! Shout out to my mom. I can't find the pep assembly anywhere. I'm Miss Ramsey, and I'm here to talk about dark romantic literature. It's a class that's offered for seniors only. 
and um, it is considered an English credit. Dark Romanticism is a subgenre that was created in reaction to the Enlightenment period during the mid-19th century, and so all of our literature kind of focuses on um, the characteristics of Romanticism, and we cover poetry the first semester and short stories the second semester. I brought some students to tell you a little bit about Dark Romantic. The short stories were my favorite part of the class. Like, we read, like, the authors including Poe, Washington Irving, Nathaniel Hawthorne. <laughs> All right. If you want to take a class that only has minimum notes and has a lot of hand-on activities, take Dark Romantic Literature. It's the best class for you. In Ramsey's class, we do a lot of poetry from around the world. If you like analyzing and writing poetry, Miss Ramsey's class is definitely the class for you. All right, so in the first semester, we compared artwork to pieces of literature in the dark romantic movement. And don't forget, get your tickets for Project Grad, just $20. All right, it's coming up. Bruce Wayne told me that. No, Batman told me that, but you know who Bruce Wayne No, yeah, Batman told me that. <laughs>my name is Angel Acorcha. And my name is Pablo Sarraga. Student Council this year is starting a new tradition called Spirit Wars. During Spirit Week. <laughs> student Council members will go into your classrooms and count how many of you dressed up. There will be a poster next to the office uh, displaying how many people dressed up from each class. And there will only be one winner, either the freshman, sophomore, junior, or the senior class. During the pep assembly, the winning class will get a surprise. So each class, make sure you dress up in order to win.
Uh, there is gonna be another one next year, but it, we're gonna start planning it a lot earlier because it takes a lot of time to plan. Good morning, Amphi. We're here with a special presentation. Last week, all of you participated in Field Day, and the school-wide Field Day was a huge success. The five teams that participated during Field Day, as you know, were color-coordinated, and all were being judged during Field Day by Student Council. We have a special award to present today, and I'm going to pass this off to Angel Acorcha, who was the director of Field Day for Student Council. Angel? Hi, my name is Angel Acorcha. This is Jennifer Ochoa, and this is Jessica Acorcha. And during the field day, we had the volunteers judge all the teams based on their participation and overall teamwork. And the team that we thought had the best participation and teamwork was the red team. And we wanted to give them the trophy because we thought the red team had the most participation and best teamwork. Supposed to be on the bloopers. That's what gets the people going. That's what you wrote on this little piece of paper. Let me get it out. You think we'll be in here for the whole two hours? No. If you want to take a class with minimum, oh come on, Mondo. If you want to take a class with minimum note, well, I don't know. wait. Why are you doing that now, Mondo? <laughs> Rolling. Back up a little bit. <laughs> oh, you just steamed it. <laughs> so you can. Um, yeah, I don't. I just messed up. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! We we, 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 we want to do this once because we're trying. I'm trying to go to class. I'm trying to graduate. We took pieces of artwork and compared compared them to like. I'm so. No no no! I'll watch. I'll watch. Just one more time. One more time. No one look at her. Go red team! Go red team. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Bars, such. Yo, my name is Dante, hey, and you know it's me. Mm. You need to take poetry mm. uh, with dark romantic. Uh. This class is so fantastic. Uh. Bars all day, we're Mondo and Steve. Breach. Gang, gang, gang. I'm way. Yeah. Yeah. 